And today we are going to be discussing setting and achieving goals. Today, each one of us are going to tell you guys how we are going to set our goals that uh, individually we have and how we're going to uh, incorporate our agendas so that we're able to be proficient and ready throughout the school year. Kanye, will you go ahead and tell us your SMART goal? Uh, my SMART goal is to make sure I bring my instrument to uh, my sixth period class. And to do that, I'll have this binder out and write down what day I have it on so it can remind me to bring all these different instruments. So I won't get dropped. Time. So my SMART goal is to get all A's and B's because last year I wasn't doing so good and I want to pass all my classes so I can go to high school. In order to do that, I will write down my agenda, what, what homework do I have to do so I could get it in on time and keep my A's and B's. That's a good goal. And just a suggestion for you, Diego, we can also start a study group. That way, everybody who's struggling with the same issue can uh, get incorporated. That way we can help everybody. And also, adding on to your goal, we're able to check Student View and CTLS every day to make sure that we're not missing any assignments because once we start missing assignments, we start falling behind and we're not able to keep track of that A, B, two week by time frame. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, can you tell us what your goal is? My SMART goal is to get into the IB program for Campbell High School. And uh, how I plan to achieve that is I'm going to write it down in my agenda that I need to practice writing out the essay. Then I will check it over with my ELA teacher and then I will send it off to the IB program. Uh, that sounds like a really good idea. Um, for my goal, I want to become more, or uh, participate more in class and I feel like less confident going up to my teachers and asking them for help because I feel like nobody else struggles. But it's easier for me to remember that everybody else does struggle with maybe the like same questions that I have. So I'm able to like go up to my teachers and track to make sure that I'm participating, asking questions throughout the class period. So I'm able to stay on top of it and make sure that I'm still being confident in myself. What did you choose your goal, Alyssa? Um, I chose my goal because it will help me in high school and it will help me get into colleges. That way I'll be successful at, uh, later on in life. Kanye, why did you choose your goal? Uh, I chose my goal because I tend to not bring my instrument sometimes because I keep forgetting it. And my teacher is getting not mad at me but like uh, frustrated with me. And I do, I do need to focus on that more so that's why I chose it. Okay. And for all of our students here, a specific goal includes exactly what you want to do, a realistic deadline or time frame, and a way to know when you've achieved it. And by using our agendas, you are able to track that and track your progress every day throughout the school year. And I also want you guys to think about your experience setting and working towards your previous goals. What's one thing you could have done differently to make sure that you reached the goal? And also think about that when you're planning your goal today. It's important to have a goal because when you have a goal, it gives you something to reach for. That way you're not just floating through life. When you have something to reach for, it gives you a purpose. And everybody needs a purpose because that gives them a feeling of wantedness, you know? So it's always good to have something to reach for. So you need to keep on setting goals until you achieve them. And also make sure that you have a plan, a specific date, and make sure that you go through with that plan. Uh, remember to be here, be ready, be respectful, and you will be great at work. One, two, three, SMART goals!